All right, guys, welcome to lesson 4.1. This is called um, the percent equation. And um, understand for chapter 4, you will be able to use your calculator, and I will show you some of the functions on the calculator to do some of the skills that we're going to learn in this chapter. Uh, so if you have a calculator, please take it out. If you need to turn the calculator on your computer, have that ready. Um, I'm just going to go through the equation and a few examples, and when we get to class, we will continue to use the percent equation and practice some more. So here we go. The formula, I will show you that in just a minute. I want to show you this example. Say you took a test and I wrote 8 out of 10. <clears throat> what do these numbers represent? Well, the 8 is equal to or it represents the number that you got correct. And the 10 represents the total. So of, of 10 questions, 8 is the number that you got correct. So is and of are going to be two key words that we're going to be paying attention to today. So here is our formula. A equals P times W. And I know right now it's not making any sense, but I'll explain each piece to you. A is called the part. Um, the key word is is. So if we take a look at 8 out of 10, the part would be 8. 8 is the number of questions you got correct out of 10. P is called your percent. And finally, W is called the whole. Um, and a key word here is of. And if you're still kind of struggling with some of this, um, I promise as we go through some more examples, it'll make some more sense. So of 10 questions, of meaning total or the whole thing, of 10, 8 is part the number of questions I got right. So if we use this example, we are able to find our percent. Now I know there's a bunch of other ways we could answer these questions, but this equation is one way and you are expected to understand and use this model. So 8 is our part, so that's going to be our A. We don't know the percent, so I'm going to put a P, times the whole. The whole is 10. So what we have here is 8 is equal to 10p. Well, how do I undo this multiplication here? How do I undo times? Well, the opposite of multiplying is dividing. So we're going to divide both sides by 10 because we want to isolate the variable. Um, 10 divided by 10 cancels, leaving me with p. p equals point. 8. But point 8 is not a grade. So what I actually need to do now is take point 8 and convert it to a percentage. So if I take point 8 and convert it, I get 80 percent. What we did is move the decimal twice to the right, or mathematically we're taking point 8 and timesing that by 100. Here's another example. So let's start with the formula. A equals P times W. And here's something you would see. What number is 24% of 50? So what I'd like to do from here is before I even begin is underline the key components. What number is 24% of 50? Did you notice how I keep seeing these keywords is and of? Um, this is my percent, so I'm going to convert it to a decimal, 0.24. I move the decimal left two places. Of 50, meaning out of 50, what is the number of questions I got correct? So of is my W, it's the whole. So I am looking for A. A is the piece that's missing or the part. So how many questions, it's asking, how many questions did you get right 
out of 50 to get a grade of 24. So we're going to take all this information that we just discovered and we're just going to plug it into the formula. So this is how we do it. I don't know A because it's saying what number. So A equals, I need the percent. And if you look over here, my percent is 0.24 times, I need a W. So if I go in here and look, my W is 50. 50 is the whole. So if you take your calculator and you do 0.24 times 50, you get 12. So A equals 12. What does that mean? If you took a test, if you took a test that had a total of 50 questions, um, the number that you got correct equals 12, and you got a grade of 24%. All right, next example. Thirty-nine is fifty-two percent of what number? Okay, so we want to um, identify our keywords here before we begin. I will always do these questions just the way I'm showing you by breaking them down. Thirty-nine. Oops. Thirty-nine is. Okay, let me clean that up. Thirty-nine is. Then we have 52% of what number? So A part equals percent times the whole. All right, and if you keep looking at P and you're thinking that's the part, uh, to this day it takes a lot of effort to remember that P is percent, so don't feel too bad. 39 is my A, it's my part. 52%, well, there's a percent sign right there, so it's my percentage. So I convert it to 0.52 of what number, of what total. So my W is the piece that I'm looking for. So I'm going to take all this information and put it in the equation. So 39 equals 0.52 W. So what I want to do is I want to isolate this variable. I want to find out what W equals. So I'm going to divide both sides by 0.52. So you take 39, divide 0.52, and you get an answer of W equals 75. What does that mean? That means you got 39 questions correct, 75 total questions, and you get a grade of 52%. Okay. All right, bring these notes with you tomorrow, and we will continue going over this skill. Thanks.